On Drop Rate is a series all about testing my luck. Each episode I will pick one or multiple activities to do and one specific unique to get from those activities. But there is a twist. I am only able to do this activity until I am exactly on Drop Rate. Kill 5000 Listen Men Shamans to get a Dragon Warhammer. Defeat 512 Venonatus to achieve a Treasonous Ring or loot 300 Rifts to obtain an Abyssal Needle are all ideas going by this rule. To spice it up even further, if I manage to get the item within the limited attempts, I get to keep everything I earned including the unique item. If I do not get it however, I have to forfeit half of all the money I earned during the grind to one of you guys, the viewers. But now, let's get into the video. Let me introduce you to the star of this video, Konar Q-Maiden. Konar is a Slayer Master unlike the rest. She does not only assign what monster you need to kill for your Slayer task, but also specifically where you need to hunt them. Because of this fact, some tasks could be way more troublesome to complete than normal as the area you get to kill them in could make the task vastly slower. But of course, there will be a special reward when taking on this restriction to your Slayer task. First off, each task will reward you with 18 Slayer points as a minimum, which is the second highest in the game, only eclipsed by Crystillia, the Wilderness Slayer Master, which rewards 25. But most importantly of all, and what this video is really about, when on a Slayer assignment from Konar, you can receive Brimstone Keys with varying drop rates depending on what task you get assigned. In general, the higher combat level the monster you kill is, the higher the drop rate of the Brimstone Keys, and what these are used for is to open the Brimstone Chest, which is located right behind Konar. This chest has a variety of valuable items on its drop table, including a bunch of collection log items. In this video, we're going to be collecting 200 Brimstone Keys from Konar Slayer tasks in hopes of receiving the Broken Dragon Hasta. Let's get into the journey of collecting all these keys right now. A very good clip to start off the video and the grind with the first Brimstone Key on the ground and one of the best superiors has spawned at the same time. I actually managed to get a Brimstone Key again from just killing minions around the superior, but the loot is... nothing. I mean, if this keeps up, this might not be that long of a grind. I've done like 50 gargoyles on this task, and look at the chat. Three brimstone keys. Pretty much one every like 15 kills on average. That is nuts. Oh my god, it's keeping up. That's like five more kills, maybe up to ten more kills maximum, and another one. So I just finished a video on Alchemical Hydra doing 513 kills and overall from the Alchemical Hydra itself I got 12 Brimstone Keys, but overall from all the tasks I had to do to get all the 3 tasks that I needed to complete that video, I overall now have 38 Brimstone Keys. So 12 more and we're 1 quarter of the way there. Dust Battlestaff, only 11k, I already have it on the collection log unfortunately, but uh, that is the first superior unique of the video. So I recently picked up a Hellhound task and I decided to do a video on Cerberus for the on-drop rate series that you probably have already seen at this point. But let's see how many Brimstone Keys we can get during this entire video that I'm making. And the drop rate of a Brimstone Key from Cerberus is 1 in 56, so I should be getting around 9 of them. 7 kills in and that is the first Brimstone Key of the grind, so so far we are slightly unlucky. I did actually think I could get enough Hellhound tasks in the Taverly dungeon from Konar, but uh, looking more into it, I've now done 30 tasks, 0 Hellhound tasks, and on top of that, there is 5 different places you can get them located at. And uh, that means a 1 in 5 to get the right area, and on top of that, a very small chance of actually getting Hellhounds in the first place. So overall, we're getting 3 Brimstone Keys from that Cerberus task. Oh, what? I just got an Hydra's Eye from a normal Hydra. I think on task it's not awfully rare, but that's like 1 in 361, so pretty nice drop to get actually on this grind. These are the weirdest superiors in the entire game, without a doubt. Just look at it. It looks so out of place in terms of runescape even, but uh, I think it's pretty cool. It also has the highest drop rate out of any superior in the entire game for the Imbued Heart and the Eternal Gem, so uh, maybe we can get one? What? Hydra's Tail? This is actually not the same uh, Hydra task, it is a different one, but uh, that is 1 in 1000. It's only 63k though, and it's not really a useful item, it's just for Bone Crusher, but uh, nice, I guess. Another chance at the Superior Uniques, can we get it on this one? And the drop is... nothing special. 
That right there is a very important brimstone key. You can see I actually have all of the ones I've collected so far in my inventory. And that is now the halfway point 100 brimstone keys. That stack looks really nice. The alchemical hydra part and the Cerberus part of this video I already made separate videos out of and I did giveaways if I did lose or win those challenges so I have deleted the loot that I got from those but overall so far we have collected 27 million worth of loot from all these tasks I am keeping track of literally every single task I've done and at the end of it I will add all of the value of that to the brimstone key loot as well. Now, if I do get another boss task from now on, I will do the boss task and I will actually count the loot in for this challenge as well, because I'm not going to make another Slayer boss video for a while. Let's see what I get for this one, though. Greater Demons. And here we are. We landed the first boss task that I will be counting the loot in for. So, Kraken, can we get something good? And the last kill of the task is going to be Rune Longsword, but uh, all the loot that I got is on the screen right now. I think it was a pretty successful task. Got a jar of dirt, which I already had in the collection log, and four brimstone keys. So when I started this grind with zero brimstone keys, I think I was at like task 880 or something like that. And after this one, we're going to be hitting a massive milestone of 950 tasks. And I'm at 125 brimstone keys. So there is a chance from all of these 200 that I'm going to be collecting that I hit 1000 overall tasks. And let's see the points, 270 points for that. Very nice. If I get some terrible tasks, I can skip them now. Oh my god, I had no idea, I just talked to this NPC right here on Holiday Items, and it just unlocked like every single thing that I missed from all the Halloween events, all the music tracks, all the- oh my goodness. Oh, no, why do I have that tagged? What am I doing? <laughs> why do I have the Ensouled Abyssal Head tagged? It baited me so hard, I thought I got a unique from the Superior. Oh my god, I had no idea how actually rare this was, but I already have it on the collection log. I googled it, it's 1 in 6,000 to get an Abyssal Head from normal Abyssal Demons. We've actually been, actually been pretty lucky with the Brimstone Keys as well, so this is definitely a good task. You know what, I feel like it's time to do a massive upgrade here. I'm probably going to sell this back at the end of the video. This is a weapon I've never actually had before, the Kodai Wand. It is actually vastly stronger than the Master Wand I've been using previously for barraging tasks. Let's see if we can get it for 83 million. We cannot, oh my god, this is going to be expensive. But uh, yeah, it has 15% higher magic damage than the Master Wand, so that is going to speed up my barraging tasks during this video by quite a lot. I managed to get it for 83.4 million GP and I can actually remove the water runes in my rune pouch right now because this code I want also gives infinite water runes so we can get another slot in that. Oh, we hit it. 43 max it. That is insane. Of course, I do have a slayer task as well, so that boosts it by a bit, but it's going to be hard to sell this. Oh. Yes, we got something. Uh, not the best item, but uh, another armadillo helmet. As I said, I recently got one in another video. But that is a very successful task, I would have to say. Like, 8 million from this task. Very nice. Probably not going to get anything more. Yo, whoa, 7.2 million blood shard from a Virewatch Sentinel task. Only like halfway through the task. I think I got 130 of them assigned, so almost exactly halfway. We did not get anything more from the armadillo, but uh, making money. What? Oh my god, like 18 kills later, I get another blood shard. These are 1 in 1,500, by the way, from the Virewatch Sentinels. I made 15 million in, like, what, 80 kills. Look at the price of that. 1.48 million GP for an Abyssal Whip. I mean, it's nice money, but uh, last time I got one, I think they were, like, 2.5 million. Oh, would you look at that? That is a second boss task, Sarachnis. I'm going to be taking 35 of this one as well, and there should be a decent chance of getting brimstone keys from this. Ooh, Sarachnis Cudgel, 187k. Not really worth anything. I already had it on the collection log as well, but uh, nice to see the drop. Surprisingly, we did not get a single brimstone key on this task, but I think we did get kind of lucky in terms of money, so I'm pretty happy with that. 169 Aviancis. Yep, we're definitely going back to Criara again. 
Another armadil helmet. <laughs> is this the only item I can get now for a while, I guess? I'm locked in the armadil helmet prison. I mean, it's pretty good money, so not complaining. Honestly, this log just keeps getting weirder and weirder. Four armadil hilts, four armadil helmets, and pretty much one of everything else. And that is a very big brimstone key on the ground right there on a dust devil task. We are now at 150 brimstone keys, so we're definitely getting closer to the end of the grind. But we still have 50 more to go. Oh, that is exactly what you want to see. One barrage stack, two brimstone keys on the ground. Oh my god, there's no way to convince me this is not the most beautiful chat log in the entire game. Oh my, <laughs> this task gave me five brimstone keys. This steel dragon kill right here is absolutely monumental. It is the last of the current task, and that is 1,000 tasks completed for 900 points. Definitely needed that, only had like 300 points left. And I can now skip some tasks if I need to, because some of these tasks are absolutely terrible. Oh my god, I just can't get the last key. I've been at like 199 for one and a half hour at this point. It's pretty bad, so hopefully I can get it soon. Let's go! There it is, the last brimstone key. The stack is now at 200, so let's go ahead and go open them. Now, when it comes to the brimstone key collection log, I do already have the broken hosta. I actually have two of them already, but uh, we also have one mystic robe bottom dusk, so any of the other pieces, the hat, the body, the gloves, and the boots would be a unique unlock. And overall, before these 200, I have opened 165 of these. If you're also wondering, the grind took a grand total of 72 hours to complete. So this was a massive, massive grind. But let's go ahead and open these 200 brimstone keys and see, are we going to get the broken dragon hasta? Oh, there we go. That's the first mystic item. The top as well. How much is it? 170k. You know what? I'm just going to equip it. I think it looks so good. Oh my god. No way. Like what? Three keys between? Something like that? Oh my god. If I actually complete this entire mystic log, that would just be insane. I need the boots and the gloves. Holy... No way. That is a dupe, of course, but the fact that I am getting so many of these is just insane. These are 1 in 1,000, by the way. Getting any of the pieces is 1 in 200, so I should have got 1 from all these keys, and now I've got overall 3 pieces. Alright, so that is the halfway points, just to not get a full inventory, I'm going to go and bank all of this. But uh, yeah, so far it's going great, but no broken Dragon Hasta yet. So let's go ahead and open the last 100 to see if we're going to be winning or losing this challenge. And uh, we are now down to the last 10 keys, so we actually got nothing at all from that, except of course just pretty decent money. I'm going to be banking everything and open the last 10 on video. Honestly, I don't know why I said on video. I've opened them all on video, but <laughs> I actually meant with live commentary. So let's see what we're going to be getting from these last 10. Are we going to get the dragon hasta or not? If not, I have a massive giveaway to do, and I will go over the amount of money I will, I will be giving away after this. 
Can we get something? Oh, it's the last to see. That is a lot of money. 350k. We're down to the last brimstone key. And the verdict is going to be a lost challenge. So it all ended up being a very even and nice number, actually. So if we go to the right side here and see how much money I made overall from the Slayer Monsters and the Brimstone Keys. The Brimstone Keys made me 20.1 million almost. And the overall value of everything was exactly 1 100 million GP. And so this is now how the collection log looks. So we only missed the gloves and the boots, as I said before, which I can maybe get sometime in the future, but uh, I am extremely happy with the unlocks for this one. And we are going to be giving away 50 million GP for this video, which is quite a lot of money. And the way you win this is on the screen right now. So good luck to all of you guys who want to participate in this giveaway. But with that, I do thank you all so much for watching another episode of the On Drop Rate series, and I will see you guys in the next one. Take care.